Uh, hello, it's uh, been a while since I've done one of these videos and so if I'm <laughs> a bit rambly and you know find uh, lost for words, it's been a while and plus I think I'm a, I'm a bit sick at the moment too because I'm always sick, you know. Um, so I'm mixed on Modern Warfare. Like in w one hand I um, I think this is like a fantastic game and on the other hand um, there's a lot of changes that they need to make in, in order for it to be probably like one of the best cards ever, honestly. Um, at the moment, it's kind of a mess, like I've said, and it's kind of just one update away from being like the best game ever. Like if they did some changes and stuff like that. So let's get to my stats right now. As of now, I have three days, zero hours, 19 minutes played in multiplayer. I haven't touched campaign. I was thinking of it until the most recent patch or update um, they did. Um, sorry about that. Someone's always texting me. And because um, it was the recent update, they messed up the campaign models, I think. And I don't know how they did that. And, um, and co op is not fun. Like at all. Um. My con KD is 0 0.89, mostly because, you know, I've been just following my body at the objective. And you can see, like, on my, um, probably my stats at the beginning of the video, I don't know, really, um, just went through everything. Um, I got all the season one officer ribbon challenges and have a few guns, a handful of guns gold. I got the AK-47 gold. The FN Skull 17 gold, the R9 Zero Sarkin gold, the Origin Sarkin gold, the Joker Launcher gold, the M1911 gold, and the X16, which is my worst, most recent one that I got gold. And some other guns I'm pretty close to the gold. I think I may go for Damascus and, um, you know, and the Platinum stuff. Uh, this, uh, probably like next season or something. And let's get down to the nitty gritty and like all the good stuff and bad stuff. And right now is talk about graphics. You know, this game looks really good. Honestly, I think it might be one of the best cards ever. Um, like at least like graphic wise, like you know, there's a lot of pictures and stuff. Um, although I would say it looks a bit on the generic side. Like um, if you put this side by side by like Battlefield and like told like someone. But they're both battlefield they probably would have thought that you weren't lying or whatever like they would they would see that this kind of looks like battlefield and i don't know um like a bit of it this kind of looks like that kind of generic but um i guess that's what they were going for more of a realistic look and yeah i respect it and it looks it looks nice um the only problem is like with the aimed outside time well like between uh, when you're done sprinting or walking until you can aim down sight. They added some unnecessary animations and it looks like your aim down sight time is slower than what it actually is. And that's really only my only, you know, gripe is it. And other than it looks um, kind of generic. And, but I do like how um, it does look like it's like from a camera, like a body cam camera, like on the shoulder. Like when you go through other stuff. Um, yeah, let's go on to the weapons. The weapons feel really good to fire. Like, um, I'm not a gun fanatic or anything. I've only shot, um, pistols and, like, uh, shot of a shotgun so far in my life from in a firing range because you can, you can, that's really the only way you can in Canada. Um, yeah, I do, um, yeah, the guns would feel really great. And I do love the weaponsmith and how you can create your own kind of gun, like kind of hybrid thing. And a lot of the times, it doesn't look um, doesn't look that great. If that makes sense, like if you make you can make like a a Frankenstein kind of monster, and yeah, it's it's great. I actually like how all this stuff kind of just adds up. Like it's little by little. Like it, this one kind of. Um, slows your movement speed but increases your accuracy and stuff like that and I really like what they do um I would say the weapon balance is okay uh, at the moment pistols are a bit weak but you know it's it's not a trail game um I would say the M4 and the 
the point seventy five uh two seven twenty five um shotgun of uh, public the best guns in the game. Um but it's so easy because of how fast the time to kill is. Um I, I would say that the P ninety is uh, P ninety and the uh M fourteen, the E R B I think it was what it's called. Um that marks from rifle, they feel a bit inconsistent well sometimes it feels like I melt someone and other times it feels like my salts are missing and like I, I don't even hit the um, hit the target um, and then let's move on to the maps the maps uh, I do like the way they look like I said um, but it feels like um, it's it's like feels like open warfare um, you know like you're fighting in an actual street which is a cool kind of way to design a map but it's not good in the sense that um there's a bunch of windows there's a bunch of good hiding spots and you could basically just hide in a window and the spawns are i think kind of the worst we've ever seen and they're they've been getting a little bit better they're inching their way a bit better um because you you spawn in people's line of sight you spawn like right beside enemies sometimes and sometimes i actually spawn behind enemies in shipment but you know, that shipment, and they really messed up that map, and, you know, with doors, there's, you always kind of have to slam them open, but I get it, because it's doors, I don't mind that, um, head glitching is kind of a, a big thing, because of mounting, um, but, you know, I haven't been really messing around too much with that, um, let's see, yeah, but, yeah, spawns are bad, <laughs> And then next, let's talk about the skill-based matchmaking. Um, that's the reason why my KD is so low. It's because I don't really, you know, want to improve in this game, if that makes sense. Like, I don't want to, because of how punished you get if you're doing well. Because um, my lobbies are really different to, like, the mother friends, um, you know, lobbies. Even with, like, uh, my buddy Shaman, who, twitches, who streams on Twitch. I may link him. I don't know if I'm able to. Um, but... His lobbies are way different than mine. My lobbies are kind of just like um, people having fun, you know, using off meta guns. And that's basically why I don't, I've got such a low KD is because, you know, I've been using like the pistols, going for pistol camos, going for long shots, going for hip files, going through like all this crazy stuff. That's why I really haven't been increasing my KD that much. Um, but there is a lot of evidence that this. Um, it's basically almost fact at this point that there is a strict uh, skill based matchmaking I do hope they loosen it really as the game goes on because you know as people get better the skill will get increase and you know people start using the same guns like they were going to be using the M4 or like the the point uh, two, 0.725 gun and like this is using those two guns over and over again and you know just capping in corners with claymores and I hope that uh, SSBM uh, is at least loosened a bit, you know, so you get more mixed lobbies. And lobbies aren't even a thing anymore. You get thrown out immediately after each match, and um, it kind of de, de incentivizes uh, joining in late and like completing the game because why complete the game if you're just going to be leaving the lobby anyways? You may as well just back out. And there's another thing that I wish that they. Um, that they put it in well is map voting or at least uh, vote to skip the map most because you know I don't like playing on Piccadilly I don't like playing on Piccadilly Piccadilly it's oh my gosh it's a bad map <laughs> it's the me map for a reason and yeah I I would say and the footsteps are really loud but I get it because you're carrying all this equipment but maybe have it so if you're carrying a really light gun you um, don't make as much noise or maybe if you have an attachment that makes it so um, not like detachment like you don't have like a, all the stuff on your gun or maybe if you edit your I don't know something maybe a puck that helps with um, you know with the footstep audio and Maybe have a book to counter that book, and you know all that, all that crazy stuff. But I do um, think that footsteps should be, you know, loved a little bit, uh, a lot actually. And 
let's see. Uh, next, we have no prestiging. Uh, there was no prestige mode in this one. I I think it's fine. I guess um, it's fine in the way that um, like you know I kind of just like it's good and bad because I because um, right now as I said I max rank I completed other challenges and I'm pretty much done for 15 days unless if I want to go for Damascus but I may as well do that next next season or in, until they release another gun um, you know gun challenge or whatever but. For now, I'm pretty much done with multiplayer until the next season. Um, so that's the good and bad. Like, it's good because, it, you know, it kind of spaces out, but it's um, getting through all, like, this content really fast and, like, having nothing to do after, nothing to grind for. Maybe if they uncap the, uh, oh, sorry, uncap the, um, the, the level cap and just have it so you own, like, a trial ticket or something or, or like, a... XP token for like next season or maybe on like a battle pass token or whatever and uh, Speaking of the battle pass. I think it's fine. You know if they keep it this way That's cool and they better not change it to like so it's pay to win and new boxes and stuff um, so I'm on the fence of even buying it because I I got the guns for free and I don't know if I should buy the battle pass because I do care on, um, I do like the cosmetics, but at the same time, I kind of don't, you know, and basically, yeah, it's, um, this game overall is in a good place, oh, uh, not a good place, but it's in, um, it has a really good foundation, and I feel like with new maps, or maybe they even brought up some of the windows, so there isn't as much windows, decrease the footstep audio, uh, loosen the SSBM, and... You know, fix the game with updates. Like, um, I feel like they can really turn this around. They kind of like called World War Two, and I do. I am holding on faith a bit, a little bit, but you know, not too much because you know it's a company or whatever. Um, I am hope. I am still really hopeful that they change this game around, and you know, everyone starts liking it again because right now there's a lot of um, there's a lot of hate and stuff like that, and. Yeah, and good YouTubers to subscribe for kind of Call of Duty content is um, Sour, Exclusive Ace, and Blame Thoughts. It's basically well, a lot of good YouTubers. Um, I'll probably link them in the description or in the comment. Um, also, go to Brilliant's chan channel and tell him to upload more Call of Duty content and tell him that Naruto sucks. Anyways, that's, that's pretty much today's video. And tell me what you guys was, tell me guys would you kind of like these kind of com this kind of commentary and I'll see you guys later. Bye.